So someone asked if I could um, record a tutorial on walking to sitting. And I have another walking tutorial I can link in the description, but this is a great idea because a lot of times it's going to come down to how the character is positioned and the scene, how the chair or the couch is positioned. With the 3D Creator, it's easier to do a rotate, to animate a rotate. With these original 3D characters, you have to get into distortion and it just doesn't look as real. So it's more setting up to make sure that you have the right character and scene. So I will show you how I did that. If you look at the start, if you can see him on the video, he's off this, um, this canvas. And sometimes it depends on how long the action is. He's walking. So I did some clipping of the beginning and the ending. So I remembered in the backgrounds that that scene was there. It's not part of the newer scenes, but um, I used to use it a lot. I don't know if you know this trick. You can make it bigger so you can see it better. And when I looked, they were down here. So here we go. I've used this one for sitting as well because some of the characters can sit in that chair. Um, this one as well, but that was a little further away. So I chose that one. Then what I did is I grabbed a character that I know is in the original version, the base version of Create Studio, and I'm going to kind of reverse this. All right, I'm going to put in sitting. I actually had him sitting and swiping the tablet. So right there I can see he's not even sitting on the couch. So I'm going to position him in the sitting. And I'll just explain that I'm using my touchpad and I'm scrolling with two fingers so that you can use that to zoom the camera. I just do the shortcut. So now I know that I have him in the right position and I'm going to make that smaller. Hitting F for full screen. Now I'm going to add the walking. I'm going to move that. I'm going to click on these three bars, click and drag it up so that he walks first. So that I know, is he in the right position? And then he sits. So now I'm going to do the animation of the walking. So I am going to click and drag that all the way to the end. So I am going to make sure I have him highlighted add an animation. I'm going to do position. And I always use linear with the walking. I am going to time the end animation where I want him to stop walking first. He stops and then he sits. That looks good. Now I just need to set up the beginning in animation. And now I already moved too fast because I did, if I click on, click and hold on walking, I can disable the starting animation, but watch what happens to my keyframes. Now they're all off. So I timed it too soon. So let's do that again. All right, that looks good. Now I'm going to go and click on the beginning keyframe and move him off screen. He's gonna walk at a little bit of an angle. Let's see if he's walking too fast or too slow. That doesn't work, look it. He stops there and slides. So I don't want that. I want him probably right there, let's see. I might move the start a little earlier. Let's see. There we go. That looked pretty good. Then what we can do after 
would be very easy. You don't even have to do any timings. You can have him walking again. So then he would get up and we'd have to animate the walking, but we can watch this. And then right there when he starts, probably just a little bit before, we can add another animation linear for the easing and position. And we can have him walk off. I might work on the timings a little, but that is how you would have him walk to sit. Thanks for the idea. I hope it helps.